In LAMBS Authoring, click on the drop-down menu called New, then select the option Use Learning Design Wizards. A list of design wizards are displayed for different supported pedagogies. For this presentation, let's focus on the TBL Design Wizard. Click on Team-Based Learning to launch it. The first stage gives you a brief overview of the TBL process, how it's implemented in LAMBS, and instructions and the enumeration of all stages. The second tab, Lesson Details, is where you're prompted to start adding the content for what will become your TBL design. First, enter the name of your design. Then select the criteria for the team's creation. LAM supports a variety of team creation options, from random allocation of students by the system, allow the students to select their teams, or letting you manually allocate students into teams. Let's use this last option. Finally, set the number of teams you expect to have. Let's set six teams, but note that you can change this when you are in the lesson as well. The next stage is to add the readiness assurance questions. Before showing you how to add your questions, you can select to enable confidence levels for the IRAT and TRAT. When this option is enabled, students in the IRAT will be asked how confident they are of the options they have chosen, and then these confidence levels will be displayed, along with the answer in the TRAT for the team to see. Now let's add our readiness assurance questions. You can create your questions manually, or if your questions are in the question bank, add them directly from there. Also, you can import questions from other e-learning systems using the IMS QTI question exchange format, or even easier, import questions directly from Microsoft Word. Let's use this option now. Importing questions from Word will ensure that all the formatting, tables, colours and images for all questions are imported and displayed perfectly in all students' devices. You can also include learning outcomes and feedback in the document too. After the file is imported, you can review the list of questions to be imported. Select the ones you want to add, select which question bank collection you want to add them to, and hit OK. Questions are now imported to both the IRAT and TRAT as well as to the question bank. As you can see, picture and text are imported as per how you create your questions in Word. You can still make changes to any of these questions though. You can modify the marks or enable mark hedging, which will allow students to split marks to various answer options. All the answer options, including the correct answer, can be edited or changed for any of the imported questions. If need be, you can continue creating new questions or import them from other sources. But let's move on to the application exercises. Adding questions to AEs gives you more possibilities. You can add MCQs, single or multiple correct answers, essays, or add complex cases scenarios where students collaborate to create a document response. You can also import questions from MS Word, QTI, or the question bank. Let's add some existing questions from the question bank. You can filter questions by type, collection or tag, or simply use a text-based search. For the sake of this example, I'll add two essay questions from the question bank. Once you find the question, you're able to see which version and the overall stats for that question, to see how that question has performed in previous exams you have created. Let's import our question. You can add as many questions as you need for each AE. When you want to create another AE, then click on the Add New Application Exercise and you can add now the question for your new AE. Let's add a case based question. Here, you can add your full case in the description case section and then provide a template or document base to guide your students in the case. If you want to add gallery walk after the students finish creating their responses, you can add it directly from here and add instructions for when the students enter the gallery walk. At times it might be useful to provide the students with a summary of the content covered in the AE. If you want to add this, click on the notice board after AE to include it. Alright, so now we have our two AEs. Let's shorten the activity names for brevity. 
Note that you can do this for any activity you create with this wizard. The final tab will allow you to create a self and peer evaluation activity. In this wizard, you can create criteria that you want the students to evaluate each other on in quantitative and qualitative terms. Note that there are other evaluation options as well, such as split points across the team members, rank, and other rating features that you can explore in the peer review activity. And that's it. You're ready to create our TBL design. Click on save and voila. Now you have created your first TBL learning design and you're ready to use this design with your class and create a lesson. Thank you.